Hello everyone and welcome to today's quick video which is where we're going to be showing you in less than five minutes how you can find three key websites and four key data sets to help you assess what the UK property market might be doing at any time throughout 2020. This is very important for your own portfolio if you have existing properties and also if you're considering buying new properties at the moment as well. So we got straight into it. So the first website I'm going to show you is a new website of ours, which is property.xyz. It's a search portal designed to find property investments across the UK, but it's also great for research, great for data led and driven information. Now straight away on the homepage, you can pick whatever location you're looking at. So in this instance, we're going to be considering Chester, for example. So if you put in Chester, put in any town, city, postcode of your choice, and it will instantly pull up a postcode um, and a rental yield relevant to the local postcode for that area. So for Chester, for example, it's CH1 we're looking at for postcode district. And I'll show you here, which is an average of a three bedroom semi-detached. That's the information it takes initially to try and show you a comparable option for rental yields in that location. Now that piece of data is very important if as an investor you're looking to buy property to hold and to rent out over the longer term. It gives you a snapshot piece of information that you can compare like for like any given region. Not only that, but you can also track it over a period of time. So if you want to check Chester maybe compared to Stockport, you can do that. You just put in your new location and it'll tell you your new average rental yield for that area. Or if you wanted to check Chester, for example, over a given um, month's time. So if you wanted to say maybe over the next three months, beginning of the month, check what that location is looking like. And or if you wanted to check quarters, it's very good for giving you some relevant information that you can track over a period of time. Now, in the current world with coronavirus and news happening daily, um, really, and it changes the market daily, a lot of the information that you'll hear is very much opinion based. It's what's people's view on what's going to happen to the property market, which is certainly valid. It's certainly important information to take into account, but it misses the point in terms of trying to use data to actually show you exactly what's happening. And that's what we're trying to show you in this video so that you can really see what the trends show over a period of time and you can then cut through all the noise. So for this first piece of information, it's about trying to assess what a location might be doing over a period of time with its rental values compared to its on the market property values and how that might fluctuate because we might see a change in property prices, but no change in rental. And that will show up based upon our rental yield um, calculation and assessment here. Second site we're gonna be looking at is Zoopla. And I'll show you exactly how to kind of find this information so you can use Duple obviously for different kind of things. We're primarily going to be looking at here, UK area stats. And what we want to look at is any given location. So let's put in Chester as an example. Now here we can see two main pieces of information. So we can see the average current value, and then we can also see the average price paid in the last 12 months. That's going to be very important really to try and assess what a change might be happening in a given location specifically around property price. So on a market valuation, our price is changing in a current world where information is changing fast. You don't necessarily want to wait for three months um, worth of delay from land registry sold figures. You might want more active figures in terms of what's actually on the market, what's actually currently being advertised for sale. The second part of Zoopla that we can use to find changes in property values is on the home page here. We can put in a given location for house prices. We're going to be checking a postcode district here. So CH1, for example, um, and this will bring up a snapshot of information in terms of market activity for that area. So you can see here the average price paid for a property in this location over the last 12 months. But you can also see what the average value is and how that changes happened over that time period. You can also change property types. So for example, if we're looking at semi-detached and also what I'd probably recommend is looking at a tighter time frame. So the last three months rather than the last 12 months, especially as things are changing so quickly at the moment. And then if we update that information, you can see here now over the last three months, there's been a price change of just 0.08% in this postcode district, which is very important really to try and keep um, close to what the data is showing for um, market value changes in a particular area rather than sold prices. Next piece of information, the next website is looking at home.co.uk. And this again is where we're going to be looking at either postcode district level, CH1, or you can check town or city information. Specifically, we're going to be looking at local information. And even more specifically, we're going to be looking at selling times. So once we've got an idea of what rental yields happening in an area which we can use property.xyz for, 
we know how the rental market might be impacted or acting in this current time frame. We can then check and see what property prices are going on the market at and actively trans uh, transacting at. And then we can also see how long properties are actually taking to sell. So it's great if they go on the market. It's great if they find a willing buyer and transact at a good price. But how long does that take? Is it going to take a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months? And this is where this report here from home.co.uk is very valuable as well. So we can see here any changes in terms of price bands. We can also see in terms of the number of properties. And very importantly, mean and median. So depending on how you interpret the data, you can see data that's maybe most relevant for yourself. We typically try and look at the median data. We feel like it's more accurate, removes and strips out those outlier pieces of information. And then there's one final bit of information that we'll share with you as well, going back to property XYZ. Once we've done a search for a particular region, we can see here, and there's different features that we can pull up here in terms of sort by features or filters as well. But I'm going to show you three pieces of information that show aligned next to the property listings themselves. We can see the yield here for this postcode sector. We can also see the house price growth, but we can also see the turnover. So how active is a market currently happening at the moment? So home will show us how long properties typically take to sell. So how many days it may be is on the market for. Whereas property XYZ will not only just show us the number of um, sales kind of happening in a region in terms of this postcode sector specifically, so quite a tight location, but also how active that buyer demand is, how much turnover is happening. So we can see here a figure of 8% for this particular area. And that's the number of properties that are selling in that location. So it gives context to not only in terms of number of properties coming on the market, maybe in terms of actually selling, but as a percentage, we can say, okay, well, 100 properties came on the market, eight properties sold, we're looking at a turnover of 8%. That's how much buyer demand is active in that particular region. I hope that helps. Just a very quick walk through of four key pieces of information and three key websites to help you assess your property portfolio throughout 2020 in a time when information is changing very rapidly and it's important to keep very close to those data sets. All the best. Take care and stay well.